All right, shalom, shalom, yes, Allah, peace, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach a rule well, peace, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, doing this work in truth and in sincerity. I'm the brother of Balkabar coming at you with a quick lesson through the Spirit. All right, from the Camp Prophets in Babylon out here in Tampa, Florida. You know, Lord willing, this uh, lesson is going to be uh, edifying and uplifting to the brothers, you know. Uh, it's going to be centered around how in Tampa, Florida, real quick, I have an article. I'll go ahead and grab. I got two articles I want to bring out. But it says, vaccine site opens at Tampa Greyhound Track, all right, which is right in uh, Tampa, Florida. They have a FEMA camp over there ready as we speak, man. All right, FEMA camps are up and running, man. All right, 2021, the year of hastening his coming, hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, and we are hastening that day, man. And all these people out here that thought it was a game, thought it was a joke, look, man, there's about to be great distress, great um, tribulation, famine, and disaster coming, coming to the world in 2021. All right? They're talking about doing another lockdown. All right, which they're, um, you know, right now they're moving everything into play, man. They got the troops ready. All right, they got um, FEMA troops and they got different um, National Guard troops set up, man. All right, to give people these V shots, man. All right. Real quick, this is Tampa Bay 10, Channel 10. It says, Need C. Maxine, Tampa's FEMA site has hundreds of them. And this came out 20 hours ago, man. All right, hey, so we're in that time, man. You know, we can't really talk too much about these V shots because they'll just take the videos down. So I'm not even going to go too much into that. You know, uh, all I can say is uh, don't be ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Don't be ignorant of Satan's devices, man. But uh, nonetheless, I got a scripture. We're going to go to Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right, so hey, this devil knows that he hath but a short time, man. The devil being who? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right, the wicked the Bible speaks of. You can read that in Job chapter 9 and 24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, who rules the earth today? Well, the central bankers. What nationality are they? Well, they are Europeans, all right? And they are the wicked the Bible speaks of, all right? But it says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, Esau, Edom, is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Hey, so this devil is about to come down with great wrath, man. Great wrath is coming upon uh, the inhabitants of the earth, man. All right, there's going to be a lot of death, a lot of destruction. All right, these streets are going to be riddled with blood, man. All right, y'all think it's a game, man. Hey, look at the, the so-called white man's history. Nothing but rape, rob, and murder. When you think about Christopher Columbus, when you think about um, uh, 1619, the transatlantic slave trade. Hey, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. So if it happened again before, it's going to happen again. This time it's going to be worse, though. All right? And let's prove that with Jeremiah 30 and 7. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 7. And we've been warning you people, man. And we know not everybody's going to listen. We're not here for everybody. Our goal is not to wake up everybody. Our goal is not to have a big, huge congregation and camp. No, that's not our goal, man. All right? Our goal is to wake up the elect. The elect of the nation of Israel, man. That's our goal. All right? My sheep hear my voice. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So the times that we're coming into, all right, is going to be the worst time in history. And it's already begun. All right? 2020 was a... Uh, a catastrophic year, you know, and hey, the Passover is coming up, and hey, last Passover, 
right after the Passover, that's when the lockdown came in the past, the, the, the C-19 came in. So this Passover, which is uh, in this month, the 26th of March, all right, the Passover, hey, after that, it's going to be a, a lot of crazy things going on, man, all right? It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So there's a time in the Bible, which is the times that we're living in now, that is going to be the worst time under heaven, all right? Which is the times we're, we're in right now, all right? Well, really, it hasn't fully begun. You'll know when Jacob's trouble happens, because you're going to see a lot of death, a lot of disease, a lot of destruction, all right? Now, you know, um, trouble has begun. You know, but the time of Jacob's trouble is going to happen when all hell breaks loose, man. When there's no more food in the stores, when there's a famine, when there's more diseases. All right, hell, real quick, let me grab this article that came out from the CDC. It says, Fox 5, Washington, D.C. You can look this up on your own time Fox Channel 5 Washington DC just in case CD share, CDC shares tips on surviving a zombie apocalypse all right so now the CDC is just coming out and let you know hey start preparing for a zombie apocalypse and we've been telling you this now all the zombie apocalypse is is gonna be um, great pestilence more diseases all right which is is coming down Hey, the rabbit hole quick, man. Coming down very fast, man. For the devil knoweth that he hath but a short time. So he's going to come down with that great wrath. And we've been warning the people. We, we let you know that there's going to be more diseases. You know, the, the C-19 was just the beginning. All right? It's going to be more pestilence. And it's, it's spoken of in the Bible, man. Um, let me go ahead and grab it. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. All right. And this was when uh, the disciples had asked our Lord, Yahweh Shai, hey, when is going to be the time of thy coming? When are, when are you going to come back? And Yahweh Shai, the Lord said, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, which ultimately is going to go into World War III. When all these nations, Iran, China, Russia, North Korea, China, uh, America, all these nations are going to gather over there in the fertile crescent in the middle east to go to war all right it says and there shall be famines all right a famine is a lack of food and water and that's coming to america man we saw a little taste of it in 2020 when this um lockdown came to pass where you could only go in to the store and buy you know a gallon of water per family or two gallons whatever it was you know, and it's going to get to the point where there's going to be no more water, no more food in the stores. Everything's going to be shut down, man. America's going to go on full-blown lockdown. All right? Hey, the first time in 2020 when the lockdown happened, that was just a test run, man. The real lockdown, the real trouble, when Jacob's trouble starts is when there's no more food in these storehouses. And you got neighbors fighting against each other over a bottle of water, man. All right, because the storehouses are going to be empty. It says, and there shall be famines and pestilences. So there's going to be more diseases. All right. More contagious diseases that are going to outdo the C-19. All right. And all I'm going to say is, don't be ignorant of Satan's devices, man. These V-shots, uh, hey, that's all I can say about it. All right. Just know that's going to be a leading cause to a lot of destruction, man. And pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So the Lord said, look, be on the lookout for pestilence. Be on the lookout for um, rumors of wars. Be on the lookout for earthquakes. And we see all this stuff happening, man. So, hey, our Lord is about to return, man. But before our Lord returns, prophecy has to come to pass. And the prophecy is what? More disease? 
famines, death, Esau coming down with great wrath. All right. But hey, the scripture says, Jeremiah 30 and 7, but he shall be saved out of it. So the elect are going to be saved. All right. The, uh, the one third, the men, women and children who believe and repent. We don't got nothing to worry about, man. The Lord is going to keep us safe. All right. We just got to continue to fight the good fight of faith. And that's the thing is that's prophecy as well. So that should comfort you. All right. Once you start seeing the prophecies come to pass, you're like, damn, hey, it's actually happening. Call her law, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. You know what else is going to happen? Is the deliverance. The elect will be delivered. All right. Daniel 12 and 1. Let's grab it. All right. These are all prophetic scriptures, and we, we like to go into the prophecies. And you know, if, hey, if you think we sound like a broken record, go ahead and uh, watch something else, man. All right. Watch whatever you want to watch. We're here to edify the sheep. All right, Daniel chapter 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. So the times we're coming into, Jacob's trouble, it's going to get so bad that the Lord is going to send Michael the archangel to keep the elect safe. All right, hey, we're going to go through hard times, brothers and sisters. You might go a few days without eating or drinking. You might be in a life or death situation. You might be cast into a FEMA camp. But you have to have the faith to endure. All right. It says. And there shall be a time of trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time. Which we're entering into that time. That's why we go out there and we teach. That's why we read our Bible. That's why we repent. That's why we put off the old man. That's why we don't do the things that we used to do. People think we're crazy. And in reality they're crazy. They're still indulged in wickedness. They still go into the club. Women with the only fans. Hey, I'll, these people are going to learn the hard way. All right? They're going to die, man. They're going to die a grievous death. The Lord going to, hey, cast them away from his presence, man. It says, And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time... Thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And the only ones that are going to be written in the book of salvation is what? That book of life is the elect. All right? The, the believers. And if you, if you say you believe the Lord, you got to walk as a believer. All right? You got a lot of people nowadays that say, oh, God knows my heart. God knows me. grab that you got a lot of people that say well God knows that I'm a good person I'm no God knows that you wicked <laughs> God knows that your heart is abominable God knows you got an only fans account God knows you still smoking weed and black and miles and shit so don't don't pull that God knows my heart BS man Matthew 15 and 8 15 and 7 ye hypocrites well did Esaias prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, God knows my heart, and honoreth me with their lips. Oh, I love God. But their heart, their mind is far from me. Meaning you're not doing the things that God wants you to do. You're saying God knows your heart, God loves me, but you're still eating pork. You're still eating crabs. You're still eating lobster. You're not repenting. You're not really seeking the Lord, so guess what? The Lord's going to leave you out here to drive, man. The Lord's going to leave you out here to drive, man. And, hey, that's going to be a terrible thing. Imagine being out here in the worst time ever on history, and the Lord just lets you, hey, go ahead. You got it. You didn't want to serve me. Go ahead. You, you figure it out. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. And that's what's, that's what's wrong with our people, man. They hate knowledge. They don't want to hear the truth, man. They want to hear about the, the next Cardi B song or the next Drake album. You know? They want to see the new TikTok trend. You know? Jake is bugged the hell out, man. All right, a bunch of followers, not enough leaders. It says... 
return you at my reproof. And this video, all the videos we do are really a reproof to, to the nation. Let you know, hey, get right. You better get right. If you don't get right, you're going to get left and you're going to get left to destruction. It says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And really, that's only to the elect. Only the elect are going to be made known of the truth. It says, because I have called and ye refused. The Lord is calling you, Jakes, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but you refuse. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. All right? The Lord like this. Come on, come serve me, son. Come serve me, daughter. You know? Stop being wicked. I'm here for you. You know? It's going to get ugly out here. Come, come, hey, hop on the salvation chariot. But Jake, ah, now nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm all right. I'm going to continue to smoke black and miles and weed and, you know, go to the strip clubs and be a, try to be a rapper. Come on, man. Y'all bugging out, man. And you think we crazy. All right? Y'all the crazy ones. And it's going to be found out that y'all crazy when y'all running like chickens with your heads cut off when all hell breaks loose. Isaiah 33 and 6. Knowledge and wisdom is going to keep us stable. All right? It's going to keep us on track. Check this out. This is a damn military helicopter. Flying right over me. We in that time, man. They got the military choppers out here, man. They getting ready to go to war, man. They getting ready to go to war, man. All praises. Call all y'all about Shimmy Shai. But Proverbs 1 and 24. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. So, hey, when all hell breaks loose and you thought shit was sweet out here, you thought it was a game, the Lord's going to laugh at you because the Lord's been calling you. The Lord had his prophets out there prophesying, letting you know what's coming, but you'll say, oh, these guys are conspiracy theorists. These guys are crazy. You know, they think that they're the prophets. All right, well, you going to see and you going to know that a prophet had been among you and then when you're trying to call on sweet baby Jesus, he ain't going to be there to help you, man. All right? And the, Lord, the Lord's going to leave you out there to fend for yourself. It's going to be a terrible time, man. It's going to be a terrible, terrible time. It says, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall you call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, man. So look, because you didn't choose the fear of the Lord, you're going to be out here to drive, man. The Lord is going to just, hey, destroy you. And he's going to laugh at you. He's going to leave you out here in, in, in the dust, man. And you're going to be wondering why you're getting burnt up, why you're getting shot. Women, why you're getting raped. Hey, you women, man. You women are a whole nother topic. Wicked as hell. Walking around here like straight harlots, man. All right? They got the OnlyFans thing. I, I, we can't even talk about the women because they'll, they'll, they'll take down the video for that, man. All right? And that's the thing, y'all. A lot of you people, not just women, men and women, a lot of you people hate the truth, man. You got a lot of simps out here. You know? Y'all hate the truth, man. And y'all, hey, shame on you. You're going to be destroyed, man. Proverbs 1 and 33, but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right. Hey, so when all hell breaks loose, the Lord's going to keep his people safe. The one who took the truth seriously, who repented. When you wake up to the truth, you, hey, you do everything in your power to please the Lord. If the Bible says, okay, I'm not supposed to eat pork. What are you going to do? You're, you're not going to eat pork because you know you're not supposed to. The elect will, you know. The two-thirds, they finished, man. That's why, hey, there's going to be more people that die than that's going to be saved, man. It's going to get bad out here, man. It 
2 Ezra 9, in verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. So you people out here that abuse the Bible, abuse the laws of the Most High, walk all over the Lord, but you say, oh, God knows my heart, and God loves me. All right. And they have cast them away, despitefully shall dwell in torments. Meaning the Lord is going to torment your ass, man. You're going to be out here like a madman. You're not going to know what to do. And you're going to be calling on that white boy, Jesus, Jesus. But guess what? He ain't coming for you. All right? Because you ain't walking after the ways of the Bible. It's simple. If you really believe the Bible, if you really believe in the Lord, you're going to walk after the Lord. You're going to walk behind the Lord. You're not going to do what you want, when you please, how you want. You're not going to think that you are the most high, that you created everything, that you got pride. Nah, man, you're going to walk after the ways of the Lord, man. Verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Right? You got people, Jake out here, they, they living good, man. You know? They got food in their stomach. They got drink. You know, they got um, uh, uh, cars and whatever. But you don't really know the Lord, man. The Lord is the one who blessed you with that. But you still walking all over his, his commandments and his ways. And that... And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. And that's what they hate. They hate, they despise repentance, man. You know? They, didn't, they don't understand true repentance. They don't understand that to truly repent, you got to stop sinning. You got to stop being wicked. You got to stop women. You got to stop dressing like whores. Men, you got to stop pimping out the daughters of Israel all right you got to stop smoking weed smoking spice whatever the hell people smoke nowadays man you got to stop smoking man all right hey if I can do it you can do it man it says and when yet place of repentance was open unto them all right so right now we have liberty now the liberty that we have is not to continue in sin is to get right just because we have liberty doesn't mean you continue to be a wicked. No, it means you show the Lord that, hey, thank you, Lord, for dying for our sins. Now, I'm going to try my best to not sin. It's, how hard is that to understand? You people are not right in the head, man. <laughs> Jake is not right. There's something going on up here with Jake, man. The elevator don't go all the way to the top. It says, when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain so the people that refuse to repent you know to put down the pork chops and to put down the lobster and the crabs and to uh, continue to be uh, mo's you know homos and hey the Lord got it hey the Lord said that you're gonna know it death by pain then you then you're gonna know shit man I wasn't supposed to be doing that all right. And therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop. So there's going to be more people that die than that repent and get right and get saved. More people are about to die than going to be saved, man. All right, so hey, we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble, the worst time in history. Out here in Tampa, Florida, they got FEMA camps, FEMA, FEMA troops ro rolling around and shit. And it's coming to all 50 states, man. And then shortly after, it's going to be the mark of the beast and then nuclear destruction, man. All right, so get right while you can. Repent. I'm going to grab that and I'll close it out. Thirteen and three, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So, hey, we're preaching repentance, man. Get right, get right with the Lord, man. Open your Bible, study, learn what the Bible is about, man. 
Don't allow pork chop eating pastor to tell you how to live according to the Bible when he's got a shaved face, bald head, and he's eating pork chops. Come on, man. Learn for yourself. Study for yourself. Study to show yourself approved, man. Jake has been deceived, man. But hey, it's all right, man. I tell you nay, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish, man. All right, so put down the pork chop. Put down the uh, crabs, the shrimp, the lobster. Put down the only fans. Put on some modest clothing. Men, put down the blunts. Put down the drugs. Stop being trying to be a rapper and come into the truth, man. All right, so hey, Lord willing, this was edifying, uplifting to the sincere brothers and sisters. Call Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakor, Dash. Till next time, I say Shalom.